Hi, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. This is actually a timeless collective reading for the sign of Capricorn. Somebody has, the Seven of Cups is, of course, illusions, confusion. It could be fantasy or whatever. This could be a person who has been very much caught up in having multiple options. Now, if this is a romantic situation, someone could be the type, like, they're a player. They've always had a lot of different options. When this person finally realizes that having a lot of options, having a lot of attention, or going after this, you know, superficial lifestyle is not really serving them, and they decide to commit, I feel like this person is going to start to receive a lot of very beautiful blessings in their life, or someone has already taken interest in someone, and they're starting to see like, oh, wow, you know, being with one person or being committed to one goal is actually pretty good. It's, it's really serving them. Somebody, I'm hearing somebody is just like living a more low-key lifestyle is really working for them. Somebody has started to notice that, wow, I have so much more peace in my life now that I'm not surrounded by all of these illusions and this confusion. This could be friends, family, or whatever, because the Three of Cups is here. Somebody has been celebrating with a lot of people, and they're realizing that the more people they get rid of, the easier their life becomes. Or if someone has even been entertaining like a third party or some, somebody is like, wow, once I get rid of this interference, it seems like everything is falling into place. This... Somebody is just having a major epiphany where they're seeing like, what is it called? Like, um, I forget what it's called, but you know, it's a term that you use. Like, like when you're training, training a dog, <laughs> like somebody is realizing that when they, so, okay. Somebody is realizing that obedience brings rewards. Okay. That's, that's, it's, Obedience is bringing rewards. Somebody is realizing that, you know what? When I choose to kind of walk the straight and narrow, when I'm obedient, when I stay away from things that I know aren't good for me, things seem to fall into place. When I'm not dealing with a particular person, things seem to fall in place. When I'm not lying, when I'm not cheating, everything is good. And I feel like somebody is like, you know what? Yeah, I think I'm ready now to really get on, on the straight and narrow and just keep this momentum going because, yeah, somebody is is on. They're starting to see what peace and love, how the how it brings harmony into their life, but something has to be cut out. It's the, it's the obedience. But somebody, I do feel like a person is possibly taking, um. Taking advice from someone. This could even be like a person who has always taken advice from their friends or their family, or they hung out a lot with a lot of different people or had a lot of options. This person could be meeting somebody now with the four of wands who could be like a soulmate, a divine counterpart. And this person has sparked something in this individual and be like, hey, you know, maybe you should try walking away from certain things, or maybe you should get on your spiritual path. This is a very straightforward reading, but it's very deep because someone is choosing now to embrace their spiritual path, their journey. Truly. Somebody is like, you know what? Yeah, okay, fine. I'll put an end to this way of being, this way of thinking because they're seeing all of my abundance has been hanging in limbo. Somebody is, is starting to recognize why everything has been delayed for them. It's because of a mindset. It's because of their family, their friends. It could have been, um, this is a very specific message for somebody, but somebody here could possibly be, have been separated from someone for a very long time, but they have not legally divorced the person. And somebody is realizing that, okay, opportunities keep coming to them, but this, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, well, I'm not with that person. Yeah, but you're still legally with that person. They're still that spiritual contract in place, you need to legally divorce that person. I don't know who that's for, but somebody out here is watching. Stop thinking that you can just be separated from somebody. You can't go out and try to live your life and have a passion, new beginning with anybody knowing that you're still legally married to someone. You need to go ahead and file, you need to go ahead and, and get the divorce. 
You need to, if somebody here is worried about child support, you need to go ahead and get the divorce decree. Get the child support, the visitation or whatever, so that you know that you're free and clear and you can go out in the world and you're not, you don't have something hovering over your head. This is something that has been just lingering for too long. And somebody now is finally being like, yeah, there's a third party here. The three of cups and the three of swords. There's a third party. The third party does not have to be like another lover. This could be a friend that's interfering in a connection, a family member, someone's mindset. It could be anything. But somebody has to make a choice that will leave something behind in order to manifest a brand new beginning. Yes, judgment. Somebody has become awakened. They're not confused anymore. There is no illusion here. This is somebody for sure going through a spiritual awakening, 100%. And they're getting on their spiritual path and journey, and it's leading them to the Ace of Pentacles, to a brand new beginning. Yeah, somebody is getting their wings. That Sagittarius new moon energy that's coming in, like this is, it was very powerful. Somebody is, is passionate now. They're choosing to open up their heart. Open up their heart. And the cups also could be like becoming open to some type of spiritual or psychic growth or development even. Page of Pentacles. This Page of Pentacles with this Three of Cups, Three of Swords to me, I feel like it is a confirmation. Somebody, it, this Page of Pentacles is like... That's when I first said that, I'm like, oh, that's a missing piece to a puzzle. Somebody now sees that it's a friend, a family member, or something that is a problem. And I was getting the other day something about the three blind mice. And when I looked it up, <laughs> it was very interesting. Hold on, let me see what it said. I don't know why I got that. The three blind mice. Three blind mice, three blind mice. See how they run, see how they run. They all ran after the farmer's wife. She cut off their tails with a carving knife. So there's a song called Three Blind Mice. Did you ever see such a sight in your life as three blind mice? See how they run, see how they run. They all ran after the farmer's wife, three blind mice. She cut off their tails with a carving knife. Did you ever see such a sight in your life as three blind mice? So you know what that is. So for somebody out here, wow. There is a there could be a man out here specifically who has a group of friends or family members or whomever that have been constantly going after a feminine. And this feminine is calling judgment on this situation. She cut off their tails with a carving knife. Hold on. Because there's, um, it says the three blind mice were Protestant loyalists accused of plotting against Queen Mary, daughter of Henry VIII, who were burned at the stake. The mice's blindness is referring to their Protestant beliefs. So there is a masculine out here who has friends, family members, past lovers, or whomever. They could have their family that have been trying to burn this divine feminine at the, like at the stake. And I feel that we've been talking about this for a long time now of like this masculine who is connected to this high priestess like energy and their friends and family do not want this person to be with this high priestess divine feminine because this person obviously has very different beliefs. These people are being caught up now. That's the truth. This divine feminine sees the truth and has spoken the truth and whoever the masculine is, they can't deny it. But these people, and I, I talked about this like a week ago. I said, whoever keeps on attacking whoever this divine feminine is I've been picking up, I'm just like, somebody's going to finally make this person very, very mad. And they're going to like really experience the wrath of this person. Because look, 
the Knight of Swords. Somebody is just like, no, here, here is this person going in to cut off. What did it say? Um, she cut off their their tail or something, whatever it said. They all ran after the farmer's wife. She cut off their tails with a with a carving knife. That's and so this king of swords is actually this feminine. This is a fem this is a, a woman, maybe in a masculine energy, feminine, but this person now is calling judgment. And going, I feel like this is a woman, y'all. Or, or if it's not, this is even, this could be a man who's in feminine energy. I don't know. It's something here about the energies that seem like they could have possibly been swapped. It doesn't matter if it's a man or one, but somebody is just like, whoever keeps on attacking this, them or their person, they're finally calling judgment on the situation. Somebody is just like, yeah, these three blind mice, they, they have to go. Because it's three, it's at least it's a group. This could be like a small coven of people who keep on trying to attack a person because of their beliefs. They don't like what this person's saying or doing, but their beliefs, and they could be attacked. Um, I'm sorry, attached somehow to someone that is also attached to someone who's in this coven. Something here is very hidden. It feels like there's a person who has a friend or a family member that's a part of a group or something, and they don't really know about it. Or they do know about it. So, let me say this. Because what I'm saying here, this could be a situation where there could be different beliefs. Like, somebody here could be of a different religion. And they could be friends with the person. And the person is like, yeah, you know, I'm cool with you being different from me or whatever. You know, it could be somebody that's like, Muslim and someone who is Christian or Catholic or whatever the case is. And they're saying, well, yeah, it's fine that you're different. You know, our backgrounds are different. That's fine. But this person is actually somehow in the background, like attacking someone because of their beliefs. Or they're attacking this person, someone's partner because of their beliefs. It's something like that. It even could be for sure like somebody who is very spiritual dealing with a very religious person. This person, this person's family or friends could be like very religious and like the divine feminine that I'm picking up on, this person could be very spiritual. They could be into, you know, metaphysical things, law of attraction, whatever, you know, no, nothing wicked, but they could know things about the occult and this person that they're connected to, their friends or family is attacking this person. It's almost like they're like, well, we're going to run this person away. Somebody's like, no, you're not. No, you're not. Here it is again. Three, three of Pentacles. The, it's the, I don't know. I just keep the three blind mice. And this is people who have gotten together, you know, or somebody's like, like three or more people. So this, this is like some kind of ritual or something that somebody did. We're going to, we're going to run that person off. Like, oh, really? They're spiritually attacking and, uh, and bullying this person who is more spiritual. Wow. It's not working though because <laughs> this, this person is coming out to, to rip the, the, you know, the tails off of the three blind mice. And they're blind because, yeah, they don't know. They don't understand spirituality or something like that. So they're attacking someone. You have where the chariot and the nine of swords came out. And the Ten of Cups, this could be somebody, wow, the Ten of Cups, this is a family, this has been coming out a lot, man. Somebody's family has been attacking somebody for a long time. Nine of Swords, Ten of Swords, Ten Ten, somebody could for sure be saying Ten Ten. The Chariot, this could be a Cancer, doesn't have to be, but the Chariot and the Moon card have been coming out so much. I don't know if it's because of this full moon coming up in Cancer. This could be something that someone is doing in the background. I, I feel like the moon energy is very um, significant. I think the moon also has a lot to do too with, you know, when I think of the moon, I think of cancer energy and I think of mother and home, okay? This could be somebody's mother who has been in the background really trying to just destroy someone's life for a very long time because they could have a son or daughter who is connecting with people who have different 
backgrounds or beliefs. This person has been sabotaging things, but they're, they're not working alone. They are doing this other, with, with other people. I just heard mothers in the church, they're doing this with, with an aunt or siblings or something because they're like, well, listen, we don't want our son or daughter to have that type of person come here and be in our family because they're too different. It's not because this person is wicked. It's because this divine feminine high priestess individual or high priest or whomever will actually be able to see that these people who consider themselves religious or whatever, they're witches. <laughs> they're witches and warlocks. <laughs> Hello? They're wicked. They've convinced themselves that because, you, and this, 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 just, this reminds me of a reading I did a long time ago where I said, it's like a, a matriarch or somebody who is going to get in a lot of trouble because somebody here, they use the Bible to, to spell cast. They use the Bible to cast a lot of spells. Like somebody here is, they're, they're, they're presenting themselves as very religious, but this person, they're, they're worshiping some kind of idol or something. They may be doing this in secret. I feel like there's a masculine or something. They don't know that they have a... I'm hearing a woman in their family that is into something. They don't They don't realize that this was going on. They're about to find out, though. Queen of Swords is here. Yeah, this Divine Feminine is not backing out. This Divine Feminine is like, you got me messed up, for real. Five of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. This divine feminine is like, yes, I have my sword out. Once again, this sword is not going anywhere. And this is the sword of protection. This divine feminine is heavily protected. This this person is just like, no. <laughs> this person is... <laughs> this person is like getting rid of everybody. These people are going to be out in the cold. They're going to need a lot of help. And once again, Ten of Pentacles. This is family. You have the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups out here. Somebody is standing their ground to like their fam their own family or someone else's family. Yeah. The Hermit and the Four Swords. This is going to force a person to really go within to see the truth about something. Wow. <laughs> I said that though. Like, I, it was like maybe two weeks ago. I was like, whoever this divine feminine is, people really better leave this person alone. Whether this divine feminine is a man or a woman, I was like, people better stop bothering this person because I feel like someone has had enough. They've called judgment on the situation and baby, the three blind mice, listen, they're about to get chopped and screwed. <laughs> I don't know why I keep hearing chopped and screwed. Chopped and screwed. Somebody could be in Houston. Houston, Texas. Chopped and screwed. Is that kind of like where chopped and screwed music kind of came from, like Houston? That's why I said that. Hmm. Knight of Swords. Somebody is like on somebody's butt. Just like you are not taking this happiness from me. <laughs> Somebody is not playing. I'm telling you, like, seriously, look at this. Somebody is like, no, I'm going to have victory and success in this situation. And anybody that comes against it, it's, it's up and stuck like, no, somebody's like, no, I'm not joking because somebody is so, so serious about having whatever their victory and success is, whatever they've manifested, somebody is not playing about their birthright. And I feel like this is even sometimes, you know, depending on who you are, you know, Ten of Swords, everything is fine. Even if you are in a connection with a person. You know, people who are even married or in very serious co connections, you have to understand the importance sometimes of you protecting your, your person as well. Because this is somebody who is being bullied by someone's friends or family. And I feel like somebody now has to step in and be like, listen, that's my person. And you're, you're really, you're not about to keep on attacking them because when you, especially people who are like, if you're married or you are in a courtship that you perhaps think is going to lead to marriage, you have to sometimes put your friends and family in their place and let them know that a big part of your life purpose may be connected to that person. So if you're sabotaging that person that someone is connected with, then you're actually, you're sabotaging them. 
You know, it's like a mother and child. And and this, it's, again, the moon card, this is also for sure like someone's mother or father that feels like, well, I need to protect my son or daughter from this person. But it's like you're trying to protect your son or daughter from somebody that has been sent by God to actually protect them. So you, what you're actually doing is you're, you're ripping away another layer of protection that has been granted to them by the Most High God because of your own beliefs. Somebody here has just been creating a bunch of illusions because of their own personal bias and judgment. This person is really about to, be, <laughs> yeah, be devastated because I'm whatever this connection is, it's moving forward. Six of Swords, Ace of Cups, whatever this connection is, or this opportunity, somebody is moving forward towards it no matter what. And I feel like somebody's like, and if I have to cut you off, mom, dad, sister, brother, cousin, you will get cut off. Because it's time for somebody to go into some type of union or connection. It's right here. The Four of Wands, the Hangman, the Temperance, the Ten of Cups. Somebody here is coming into an awakening, awareness, and alignment. And that means that something has to end. Whoever this third party is, they have to go because they're standing in between someone's like their future. Somebody here is a real bad like gatekeeper. Yeah, somebody has literally been gatekeeping. It is like somebody is like, oh, yeah, this person, they can be in the family. And then this high priest is the whomever. No, you can't be in a family. Close the gate, close the gate, shut, shut everything down like type of energy. So somebody has been trying to pick and choose people and they've been using, I don't know, prayer, <laughs> occult, coven, spell work or something. Somebody has literally been dictating and controlling someone's life in the background by trying to control who, who they go into partnerships with. This is being exposed and it's, it, it is somebody's like mother. Or, I mean, it could be a mother figure. It could be someone's ex-wife. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> My last little sip of coffee. Whoever it is, it doesn't matter. It could be a friend, family member, an ex-lover. But, yeah. <laughs> Somebody's like, uh-uh. That's my future husband or wife. Like, I'm. this is not about to happen. And I feel like even if the person still doesn't understand it, whoever this high priestess is, this person is calling judgment. And it's so crazy because <laughs> I just, I'll be seeing like all these different scenarios. Like I'm telling you, there's no way I could actually tell you everything I see. But I've, I'm seeing a man that's standing there looking at a divine feminine like, oh, wow. Because I feel like the divine feminine has said, you better tell your 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 friends, your family, whomever to stop playing with me. You better, you better tell them to stop because I feel like somebody has been giving hints. Like, hey, I can tell that there's some negativity coming from this group of people. And whoever this other person is just like, no, you know, I don't think so. Somebody's like, okay, well, I'm going to show you better than I can tell you. And all of a sudden now, this person, <laughs> this feminine is running around with this sword in her hand like, I told you, this could be a divine feminine whoever, who even gets into um, magic from time to time. Like, I'm getting, um, what is it called? This person could have done like a protection spell or some kind of defense magic. Like, I'm telling you, the next time they send something towards me, it's gonna go back. And I feel like somebody now is saying like, oh yeah, it went back. Because somebody's mom, sister, brother, cousin gonna be calling like, yeah. <laughs> such and such just happened. And I feel like this divine feeling gonna be sitting back like, mm-hmm, I know it did. It surely did. I told you to stop playing with me because it's like, it's one thing if your family wants to attack you, but when they start attacking this divine feminine, divine feminine is like, listen, I hear somebody said, that's not my family yet. And I'm going to, I'm going to protect myself. I'm going to protect my family. If you're in a relationship or a connection with something, that's your family. Now, if you're married to somebody, that's your family. They should come before your immediate family. So in other words, it's time for a lot of grown people. It's time to leave the nest. Your mom and dad can't control your relationship. How are you going to be someone's mom or dad or partner and you're letting your family control your life? Get it together. 
But somebody has this divine feminine, I feel, has told somebody, like, you really need to get these people off my back. Because when I get them up off my back, I'm telling you, everybody's going to know about it. <laughs> I feel like, I'm telling you, I feel like somebody has done some kind of protection work or something. And the effects of it are showing. Because I feel like somebody has tried to do something and they got knocked down real quick and was like, uh-oh. That's why the, the masks are coming. Somebody's like, wow, I think that they figured out who it's coming from. I think they know. Because somebody has been in the background doing this for so long and it has gone undetected. If, if that's not the case, whoever this person is, they're so strong spiritually that whoever this family is that has done this with so many people that somebody has just been running people off out of a person's life. Whoever they're doing this to now is not working. And they're like, oh, wow. That person must be able to see us. It's because this person is a high priestess, so they can see. Yeah, the tower is in the reverse. It's an inevitable change here. Somebody has been trying to resist this change. And what it is is somebody has been trying to, for the longest, monitor someone's side page of swords. So that they could dictate and control it. It's not working with this person. And they're pissed. They're like, I don't understand why it's not working. Because this person will spiritually protect themselves. That's, that's what this is. Somebody has, has not been with a spiritual person. A real like divine feminine high priestess. Or just somebody who is, is highly protected. So the effects of this person's family... What they do, it affects everyone else and it eventually runs them off or whatever. This person is not going anywhere. They're too protected. And they, they can pick up what's happening. And if you push them for, far enough, they will protect themselves against you. Somebody's family is getting the message now like, uh-oh. Yeah, this, this one is going to be hard for us to take down. They might as well sit down and shut up. Because this one, this isn't working. Three of Pentacles, three blind mice. They do not want whatever this this is that's coming in. Let me not show this card, but the star. Somebody does not want somebody to come in who's like a healer. They don't want this person to be with the healer. They don't want this person to be, or they don't want, this could be you, whoever. This could be your family or someone else's. Someone's family does not want them to be with a person who comes in who heals them and allows them to be their true authentic self. Somebody is trying to block someone from either going further onto their spiritual journey or getting on a spiritual journey because what tends to happen is you're going to go through a pruning season. Once you get on your own spiritual path and journey, you will start to realize that people in your family, a lot of them are not meant to go with you. Somebody's family wants them to stay attached to them. So whenever a person comes in with any kind of spiritual enlightenment, they're like, uh-uh, get that person out of here. No, 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 no. So they do spell work or do or whatever to get rid of the person. It's not working with this one. They don't know what to do now. They're like, uh-oh. Page of Wands. Nine of Pentacles. Somebody took action against a person who is very, um, very independent. The Nine of Pentacles is the kind of person who has gone through some things. They built something for themselves in life. And you know it came with test trials and tribulations. You don't knock the nine of pentacles down easy. The nine of pentacles is somebody who has tools and resources. Yeah. <laughs> nine of cups. Somebody here is they're 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 the one. They're the star. There's no group that's gonna come up against a nine of pentacles, nine of cups. And the star? This is somebody's wish fulfillment. Somebody is like, yeah, I'm, I'm with all of the smoke. If you want to bring the drama to me, come on with it. I feel like somebody literally has like pushed somebody's, um, they, they kind of pushed the beast out of somebody. Somebody is tired of being bullied. The will of fortune. And it's going to change this, this course of, of action that someone is taking. Because um, someone keeps watching someone trying to have them stuck. It's not working. They, they did this to the wrong person. Or I should say the right person, but it's going to stop here. Somebody just cannot accept that it's two people who are meant to be together. 
And I don't think that the family is, they're not happy about it, but they don't have any other choice because this is something that whether it's meant to last for this season or a lifetime, it was, it was divinely orchestrated and put together by God. These two people are supposed to be doing something together. So if you keep standing in the middle of it, you're going to get knocked down. It's a three blind mice. You're going to lose your tail. <laughs> yeah. Somebody has a gift of sight. Page of swords. This divine feminine is there. Speak the truth. They see the truth. They are not stuck in any kind of mental imprisonment or illusion. They speak the truth. They see the truth. They, they will hand you the truth. And this person is very protected. Wow. It's a bad memo Gemma, whoever it is. <laughs> That's like somebody who is, mm -mm. somebody met a real one. Somebody could have been, um, stuck for a very long time. Remember I said seven of cups in the reverse. And y'all know on the channel, I've been talking a lot about, um, somebody has been possibly even afflicted by like some type of entity that has literally been sabotaging all of their relationships. And, um, in that particular story, um, in the, the, the book of, of Tobit or the book of Tobias, there was a woman who was afflicted by an entity, right? And the entity, the, it was a lust demon. It literally destroyed seven of her, seven of her husbands on their wedding night because it wanted to stay connected to her. But finally there was this person, this young guy who came in and Archangel Raphael helped him to pretty much like get rid of this entity. What all this really is, is that someone now has finally found true love. Somebody has found true love. So someone has been with several partners and all of their partners, it has been based on lust. Someone is now finding, oh, this is so beautiful. Like I seriously almost just got the urge to cry because it's, it's, a, it's the seven. It was seven husbands. It was the eighth person that came in and got help from Archangel Raphael to actually pretty much like take this entity out. Ask Modeus, who is this lust demon or whatever. So this could actually, like I said before, this could be a woman even. There could be a woman who is in divine masculine energy. Okay. I, I, but it's like, it's something about these two people, their energies, they're like swapping. It's like maybe in, in another lifetime, like you were, if you're a woman, you were the man and your person was the woman. And this lifetime, it feels like it's swapped. Like the man could be the divine feminine. I don't really think that that's the, I, that is the case for some, but the point is, is that somebody here has had several lovers and they, all the connections have been on based on lust and whatever this spiritual spouse, this entity, this friend, family member, whatever this third party interference is, it has been able to run everyone off. Now that someone has true love, this connection is so sacred and protected. Somebody is not, they can be ran off. Somebody has literally been going through crazy spiritual warfare for a connection. And I'm not talking about something karmic because everyone tends to talk about the karmic situations that oftentimes is a part of these false connections. This is somebody who has come together with someone and it's truly worth fighting for and waiting for because it's it seems to be like it's a God ordained partnership. It hasn't been easy, but it's going to be worth it. And the reason why these two people are still standing strong like this is because of this protection. Someone here has the gift of sight. It's very sacred. So whatever you're throwing at these two people is not working. Wow. That's, that's like really, really amazing. <laughs> Seriously. Like somebody has found true love. It's, look at that. I'm done. Justice and the lovers. Somebody found true love. This isn't, you can't, you can't run this person off or affect them because it's not lust. The hermit. This is some closet witch or warlock or something in a family. 
that has been watching, stalking, and spying on this King of Cups and their connections and who they choose to marry. Cancer, Pisces. So we have Gemini, Libra, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Hermit, Carl, Virgo. Nine of Wands here and the Moon. This is this lust demon that keeps coming out, monitoring somebody. This for some um, could be like a, it feels like a, an entity, like a spiritual spouse or an entity, but it has been using a friend or a family member to cause problems in someone's life. Someone, this is like a, a bloodline entity or demon or something that someone has. But this this entity is like using someone close to you to cause problems. You have to think as above, so below. Everything is kind of like a tool or a prop to, to give you a clue about what's happening in the spirit. Some of you, it's like you have a friend or a family member. They're always causing issues in your relationships. It's because something about this person's energy, their beliefs are just like the beliefs of whatever this entity is. So in the spirit realm, you, it's like you're being attacked by this spiritual spouse or this entity. But here in the 3D, it's showing up as this friend or family member that's just always, always like in your business or sabotaging your connections or whatever. But you're free from whatever this is. You're becoming free from it. You've put in the work. Next year is going to be very different for you. 2024, the year of the number eight, you know, you're going to be able to finally rest, heal, and recover from whatever this is. Mm -hmm. Queen of Pentacles and the High Priestess. You got the missing piece. You, you're seeing now what, whatever was the scheme or the plan to make you reject offers, you're free now to go with your emperor that's been coming in. So for some of you, you're, you could be a woman. Or man, take it how it resonates. There's an entity that has been sabotaging all of your connections. But it actually works in your favor because all those connections were very much um, based on like lust. You, you've probably run into a lot of people who had the same energetic signature as this entity. It, it, was, it was just lust. And now you've run into like your true love. And that's the reason why the spiritual warfare is not working. But you have a friend or a family member or an ex-lover that perhaps carries some type of lust demon. They could be an incubus, succubus, or something like that, or Jezebel or energy or whatever that has been causing commotion in your life in the 3D. But that they're just here to give you a, a, a cue of what's happening spiritually. So it's a spiritual attack, but there's a physical attack here too by someone around you. You have the, again, the three blind mice. So somebody could be a part of a coven or you have a friend or family member that has been going to a, a coven or a group to do this type of work on you where they've been in the background always just sabotaging your connections. This, this full moon that's coming up, which is the last full moon of the year, you're going to see more about who this is. I feel like you're not going to go leave 2023 without knowing who this is. Yeah, look at this, courting and deeper intimacy. So some of you, you're in a relationship with someone and it's moving towards marriage. Somebody wants you to be blind to this. No, <laughs> you're not, you already know what it is. For some of you, it's like there's a person and you're like, man, I can't get rid of this person. You're not supposed to. Now, I'm not talking about those of you who are going through third party situations and you're waiting on somebody that's married and they won't come in and it's the, the baby mama, baby daddy. I'm not talking about that. I'm saying for some of you, you know for a sure fact that you've prayed and manifested for someone they've come into your life, but you, you're you going through challenges. But the types of challenges that you're going through, it is helping you to grow and evolve and heal. But for some reason, it seems like there is a blockage or delay to you taking your relationship to the next level. And you know that it's due to just spiritual warfare. It's a difference. And you're receiving the spiritual warfare because there's something very promising about this connection. But whatever has been blocking it, it's being removed. Because of the true love that's here. Magnetic souls. Yeah, slow down. Just because we want something so bad doesn't mean we have to rush into it. You and your person 
have been going through, like it's right here on top of the Four of Swords and the Emperor. You've been going through these delays because somebody needed to find out the truth about who or what was around them affecting them. This also, for, for one of you, okay, so if this is a, a divine couple, magnetic souls, what I'm saying is for one of you, you've gone through this situation because, wow, this is so amazing. One of you needed to become awakened and aware to what was going on spiritually, okay? This yin and yang energy. While the other one needed to become awakened and aware to what's going on physically, okay? It could be the divine feminine, of course, who's very, you know, highly intuitive or whatever, who needed to see something in the physical. You needed to see that you have a friend or a family member that is a really causing problems in your relationships, you could have a masculine out here who is, you know, very, very earthly, very grounded, very logical, analytical, who's not that spiritual. They needed to find out, to see the truth about the fact that spiritual warfare is real. So it, it's the two of you balancing things out in the 3D and the 5D. So this connection, this, this delay or whatever this problem is that has been here, it was to teach you both a very serious lesson that's helping you both to evolve. Warm embrace, yeah. You and this person are falling in love with each other. <laughs> Look at that vivid dreams and family, family and friends and third party. Somebody is, in someone's dreams, this family member or whomever is going to be revealed to somebody. It's going to be revealed that someone in the family has serious control issues and has been trying to ruin their relationships. Somebody is realizing, like, oh, wow. That's why I keep having problems. It's because of this friend or this family member. And I feel like somebody now, seriously, is going to have a very, very vivid, clear dream. And they're going to see that someone has been trying to control their love life for a very long time. Because they don't want someone to have this answer prayer. Wow. Wow. You have here ego versus self and apology and the pursuit. Yeah. Some of you, you could have told this person like, hey, I think something is happening, you know, going on. This could have been a real tough conversation. And this person may have been like, no, I don't believe that. My friends or family, they would never do that. You're like, yes, they would. <laughs> yes, they would. Because one of you is probably a bit more. Well, one of you is more spiritually awakened than the other. So this person, the two of you may have a tough conversation and they may come in and be like, yeah, I see what you're saying now. It's going to be after they have this dream or get this download. Now I see what you're talking about. And then that'll allow you and this person to kind of, I guess, like pursue your relationship. It's going to move in a different way because the blockage will no longer be there. Gifts and offers, vacation and travel. Yeah. See, you and this person could have started spending time with each other. There could have been gifts, offers, or, you know, use quality time, whatever. You and this person could have been traveling together. And then, boom, all of a sudden, you were at odds. And you're like, what, what happened? It's because this is your divine flame. This is your counterpart. Somebody saw you and this person starting to get closer, living your life, enjoying your life pursuing a real relationship and they realize, okay, these two people really like each other. This is moving into marriage. You know, these two people may be living together very soon. Somebody's like, whoever this person is, they're not going anywhere anytime soon. And somebody did something to try to sabotage you. 100%. And it's going to be revealed to someone. And I feel strongly with the moon, this is someone that a person has lived with because the moon, I always think of mother in the home this is somebody in somebody's home a mother figure or something like that somebody's like dang i had no idea it could be someone's old you know best friend roommate the four of one so it's like somebody has for sure been in someone's home they know they know about their home like they know about their family this is i feel, I feel strong like it's a family member and i have a reading and they, I still haven't, but I'm just like, this person's obsession 
with your love life is crazy, but somebody doesn't realize that it's a bigger situation. This friend or family member is being controlled by some kind of entity because this person is very much in their ego. This is someone who does not believe in true love. They haven't had true love. Therefore, whatever this, this entity can easily attach to this person and control them because they're so mean and, and bitter. And they just don't really have an open mind about love. This is somebody who wants to dictate and control someone's love life because they haven't really experienced true love before. So they don't understand. They don't understand anything about love. <laughs> So the entity is like, oh, I can go over here and get this old bitter mean person. I can use this person's, you know, mom or sister or ex to attack them. Because this person, they carry the same energy as this entity. It's it's a lust demon. Somebody obsessed with control. This could be someone too, you know, like lusting after things, not just sexually, but Lusting after things that are just appeasing to the ego, like, oh, I want you to be with a person that looks a certain way, they make a certain amount of money, you know, they come from a certain type of family, whatever the case is. This person is lusting after something very superficial, and they want that lifestyle for their friend or their family member. And so when they see a person falling in love with someone that doesn't, you know, Align with what they want for you, then they began to attack you and that person. Ooh, this person is being found out. And I'm just wondering now, like, okay, what's going to be the outcome in that situation? Wow. Judgment. This person's going to face judgment. And the four of swords. This person is going, this person may end up sick. This person, like, they're going to, this person, for one, this person right now is probably afraid. This person is probably getting scared of what's going to happen. The judgment of four of swords, this person may be afraid to go to sleep. And they, they, they know that if, if you find out what they've been doing, like, they know they're going to be in trouble. Yeah, this person makes a lot of decisions just out of being angry and impulsive. The tower in the reverse. Yeah. You have Scorpio judgment and the tower, both Scorpio. Somebody could be a Scorpio or somebody could have a Scorpio moon. But this person is very dark and this person is hiding what they do in the dark. Somebody here, the tower in the reverse, they refuse to let go of a person who is the Knight of Wands going into like some kind of new exciting life, they're refusing to let go. So when they when they want to dictate and control you, you know, they try to brainwash you or they may even result to doing spell work or whatever. And somebody's like, no, that's not working on me. <laughs> and you know, I'm saying for some of you, this is happening to you or your person. But this is a connection where both of you are being affected by this, but in different ways. One of you is more... 3D, one of you is more like 5D based. One of you is for you to learn that you have a snake around you. And then it's like the other one needs to learn that you're being spiritually monitored and attacked by something dark. Queen of Wands in the reverse. Yeah. The Queen of Wands in the reverse. This is somebody who has very low self-esteem. Very jealous. This is a bully. They're very overbearing and manipulative. This is someone's mother and or, or sister. And like I said, look here, it's the nine of swords. Somebody now, they're, they're so stressed out. But one, this person is very stressed out about losing either you or your person. But this person is very jealous. They have very low self-esteem. They're manipulative. They're a bully. They're extremely overbearing. Like, they're just toxic. This is a mother or a sister. I'm telling you. Or somebody's ex-wife or girlfriend or something. Or boyfriend, however his name is. But also, too, this is, I feel like this is the masculine. This person is going to wake up to a dream about this queen of wands in the reverse. And they're going to, look, 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 look. Look at this. I'm telling you, strength card Leo. This is this could be a Leo. This person is going to see this person in their dreams. 
Queen of Wands in the reverse, the Tower in the reverse. And what this mask is going to be like, oh, wow. This person who does not want to lose me has been sabotaging my life, Knight of Wands, so that I could not go into any type of new beginning. Every time this person tries to go into a new beginning, all of a sudden they get knocked down. They're mentally drained. They're emotionally drained. They're stressed. They're having anxiety. They don't know what to do. The truth is coming out. Somebody's mom or sister or ex. Like I said, it could be an ex-wife, could be a sister or a mother. Or the three blind mice. Or this, this could be a master who has an ex-wife or sister, an ex-wife, girlfriend, a sister, and a mama. They all been doing stuff to try to keep this man. Whoever this man is, he's highly sought after. And he could have even been a player. This, You know how some, some people, like, they don't settle down in relationships, but they take, but they're family oriented. This man, like, he may not be very serious about relationships with women, but he takes very good care of, like, his ex or his mom or his sister. They're like, well, we, the truth is they, they want him to forever be like a bachelor. They don't really want him to settle down. He's met somebody he wants to settle down with. They cannot stand it. But justice is here. That's what it is. This part, this masculine is most likely going to marry whoever this feminine is. And they cannot stand it. Because they don't want to come second to this, this whoever this masculine is. Look at that. Four of Wands. What did I just say? Justice and the Four of Wands. This person, these two people will become married. And this family, they are sick about it. Because they're like, oh my goodness. He's going. And so this is, a, I'm getting, and it could be different for everyone. But what I'm really getting for a lot of you, this is like a man. His mom and maybe his sisters. They've been spiritually attacking and bullying this divine feminine. Because they don't want him to be in a serious, committed relationship or married to it. Especially not a divine feminine who can see the truth about them. Because for one, this man, they know that whatever he's been giving them, it's going to stop. It's going to slow down or stop because he's going to take care of his, his wife. That's a problem, but also they don't want this man to see how much stuff they've been doing in the background that was always so wicked because this divine feminine can see it. These people know that this divine feminine is, is um very intuitive, ace of cups. They know that this person is like a clairvoyant or psychic intuitive or something. Yeah, and that's why this is here. This is someone from someone's childhood or their past that's causing all of this chaos, conflict, and drama. And this masculine is realizing now that this is why they're constantly struggling to achieve their goals. They're always feeling like they just want to give up. Give up in their, their job, their career, business, or even in their relationships. Because whenever they start to move towards new love, all of a sudden they get overwhelmed. They do not want this man to have wish fulfillment. Mm -mm. Yep. Death card in the reverse. Somebody has been trying to make a person repeat a cycle over and over and over again where they were fear changed. They don't want this man or woman, whomever. Somebody doesn't want a person to accept love because it's going to get them out of this toxic cycle that keeps them codependent. This is like literally somebody just trying to change somebody to them. It really is sick. And they've been doing stuff to either affect your, your money and finances or this person's. So for some of you, again, like I said before, you're the nine of pentacles, the nine of cups. Your wish fulfillment because you're so stable, you're beautiful, you have everything going. What they've been doing, which is so foolish, is they're even trying to affect this person's money. So it's probably so that you will just drop this person like a bad habit, like, you know, your money is funny, I don't want to deal with you. It's not because of this person, it's because of their family. Their family is trying to hit them in a place where it hurts to run you away from them. And they're shocked because they're like, wow, you're still st you're still sticking beside that person. Most people would have been gone by now. You're not gone because it's true love. Whatever it is, it may not be, uh, you know, money or finances, but it's something. They're doing something in the background to cause issues for this person so that you will not want to deal with them. But to be honest, I feel like this is happening with you and this person. Your family is doing something or friends and their family or friends is doing something or your ex-lovers. 
So this is just a connection that has been under a very major, major spiritual attack. But I feel like it's worth waiting for. It's worth it. It was just, this was the lesson that you and this person had to learn together. And it was to weed out the three blind minds. These people who don't agree with this connection. For some of you, you're in like a, a connection where it's um, interface. Like you and your person, you have different beliefs or your interracial. It's something that some may consider unconventional or taboo about you and this person. But if it's real love, it's real love. Nobody can stop it. So go be happy. I mean... Love is going to conquer whatever this situation is. I feel like that's what it is, though, now that I'm looking at it. It's like one of you is religious, the other is spiritual. One of you could be, you know, your 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 background, your faith, or something here is different. And it's, it makes you have a, you and this person have an unconventional relationship. But it's it's so beautiful because you're going to be successful. You're very protected. And if this is like a very religious family who has been attacking people, they can't attack this high priestess. This high priestess can see. I see what you're doing. I see that you're attacking me and my person in the background. So I'll tell you what, family or not, this high priestess is like, wait a minute. Let me put my protection up. Let me, let me get this hex or this curse off of me and my person. And if it comes back and it hits you, it just hits you because you never should have been playing around in our energy anyway. I feel like that's where somebody is coming from because judgment has been called. There, somebody is tired of the illusions and the confusion. But this was to force you to get so upset that you would just walk away. They didn't expect this to make you grow. That's Because everybody else, they just want them away. Mm-mm. 